So you may have heard people talk about the Internet of Things, and that's sort of the, uh, the background principle that's going to allow all of this patient engagement. And the, the Internet of Things is composed of a lot of different pieces. The first is the different things. And so uh, most of our uh, mechanical and physical devices will now be connected to the Internet, and so we'll have uh, your car engine, which is already connected back to the uh, General Motors. Uh, you know, your house, your thermometer can be connected to the internet so you can adjust the, the temperature in your house when you're away from your house. So things like that are going to be computerized, accessible over the internet. This is going to be uh, enhanced by all different kinds of sensors. So we'll have sensors that can detect uh, different kinds of light or heat or position. So most of our GPS sensors right now that can help us with our uh, making sure we how much, uh, how many steps we take are one example of a simple sensor. Uh, perhaps someday we'll have blood glucose sensors that are in your body that are constantly uh, sending someone a copy of your, uh, your blood glucose in your body while you're uh, exercising, for example. And then we're going to have connectivity to the internet, so that's key that we've got to have wireless internet or uh, cell phone reception internet. And so this will only work in the big cities, it won't work in the rural parts of our country. And then the idea that there'll be central analytics, where uh, there'll be a cloud-based solution that's uh, taking all this data, doing some calculations, hopefully summarizing the data, and passing on the important trends or alerts to um, one of your healthcare providers.